Hey, Charles. Want to grab a beer before you go home? Ooh, a yeast feast. Never mind. No, 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 I want to go. It's just there's a huge emergency I have to deal with first. Oh, no. Is everything OK? It's about my food truck. I have to get a parking spot. Oh, that doesn't sound as intense as you were making it out to be. Move your asshole, bitch! What is happening? We have to get there by 7 o'clock when they lift the parking restrictions. It's the best spot in Brooklyn, and everyone wants it. Get the hell out of the way! <laughs> Charles, I highly doubt the entire food truck industry is racing to get into this one spot. It's not Mad Max. We're neck and neck with rice pudding. You got Korean tacos on your six. Oh, my God, it's real. We're on the Fury Road. Witness me, blood bear! Hey, Jakey, the place on the corner is serving lemonade and you get to keep the jar. It's pretty cool. Yes. That's very cool, Scully. Mm -hmm. Will you excuse me just one moment? Oh, sure. Guys, guys, guys. Scully has a mason jar full of lemonade. You called us in here to tell us that? No, I called you in here to change your lives. For you see, a mere five minutes ago, Hitchcock introduced me to his new goldfish who lives in... <gasps> An identical mason jar? Oh, this isn't gonna end well. There are two possible outcomes, and we're gonna bet on which one happens first. So, will Hitchcock put fish food in Scully's lemonade, or will Scully drink Hitchcock's goldfish? Now, you would think that putting fish food into lemonade Hitchcock would be... just drank his own fish. What? No! Heads up, there's our perp looking all perpy, just perping his way down Perp Street. Take a picture. Give him one second. This light is really unflattering for his complexion. It doesn't have to be perfect. Tom Olson is a bad dude. He's held up four electronic stores at gunpoint. Man, I wish you hadn't read that Annie Leibovitz book. Quit calling it a book. It was a visual journey. You probably think I should shoot this in color instead of black and white. Yes, shoot color. Why have you been shooting black and white? Where's he going now? Come on. Damn it. NYPD, freeze! He's trapped. Top of car foot chase. My birthday wish finally came true. Keep it up, Jake. He's yours, he's yours, he's yours! I know. I feel like the coolest person in New York City. Bottles. Oil. Bullpen. What are you? B -b 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 Bottles, boil, bullpen, bowling. Behold, Brooklyn buddies. Boil, bullpen, bottle, bowling. Beautiful. Be brave, bro. Be brave. Bowl! Damn! Bullseye! Booyah! Babushka! Babushka! My fellow detectives, ours is not an easy job. The hours are long, the danger is constant, the pay is LOL. But today, a glimmer of hope. For today, a new vending machine. Behold him in all of his glory, so full of strength and promise, and most importantly, sodium, gluten, and fat. Woo! The time has finally come to christen the machine. Boil the champagne. Uh, well, technically, it's a Hungarian Pesco from the Tarnok Valley. For once in your life, don't ruin it. Give him the bottle. Thank you. I hereby christen thee Snacky Chan. Oh. Oh. OK, well, at least it was just the keypad. None of the snacks got messed up. Whoa, go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, boy. OK, OK. Uh, no! It should have been me. It should have been me! Peralta, are you eating an Italian sub for breakfast? I am, but Amy said I should eat more veggies, so I got extra pepperoncini. Smart. Uh -oh. Excuse me. You need to watch yourself. I'm sorry. Cop. <laughs> All right. Let's everybody just stay calm here. Oh, what? Are you going to arrest me for dancing? You call that dancing? Oh. This is dancing. What is happening? I'm defusing the situation. Dancing captain, must capture an image of a lifetime. Oh, why is my phone always dead? I paid $13 for it. Don't worry, Jake. I got it. Okay. Oh, oh. oh, my hands are covered in butter from making butter. I'm on it. Must record, must record. Camera off. All right, here we go. Dancing over. Situation diffused. No! Ladies and gentlemen, 
Prepare to start clapping, because I just made a major drug bust. Talking about four kilos of cocaine, 200,000 cash, and my new partner, a tarantula. I call him Jake Jr., AKA Spidey Klum, AKA Mrs. Doubt Spider, AKA Joe Spiden, AKA Tarantula Bassett, AKA Spide Dermot Mulroney. AKA Tarantulina Jolie. What? No, Charles, have you seen the spider? That's a terrible name. Sorry. Why do you have that thing? Because they were gonna throw him away, but I couldn't let them do that to my furry little, no, oh, he's actually really scary up close. It's horrifying from everywhere. Terry hates creepy crawlers. Seriously? I'm not going to your apartment if that thing is there. All right, fine. Then he'll just live here and help me solve crimes. Get used to him, everyone, because me and this spider are partners for life. He's gone. I left the cage unlocked, and he's gone. Oh, somebody find him! The man the ground! I'm good. I'm out of here! He couldn't have gone far, unless he can fly. Can tarantulas fly? Jake, you better find that spider. And I'm not coming back here until you do! Uh, Sarge, I think I found it. <gasps> Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, no. It's on my head! <laughs> ah! Jake, you gotta see this. There's something going on here. Something a little hairy. Nope. Don't see anything out of the ordinary. Really? Oh, maybe I should frame the question differently. Terry, do you notice anything? <sighs> Amy. New shirt? Oh, come on, guys. I grew goatee, and it looks amazing, and I know you can see it. Of course we can see it, Charles. It's horrible. It looks like you unclogged a shower drain with your mouth. Yeah, you look exactly like the guy in the Don't Talk to Strangers poster. <sighs> no, I don't. Are you talking about your new goatee? Mm hmm I think it's a good choice of your face. Ah. Come over here so I can take a better look. Thank you, Captain. I knew you'd appreciate Bianca. That's right, I call her Bianca because she's dark and thick like my first cousin, Bianca. Jeffers Peralta, now. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Oh, no, no. Say goodbye to Bianca Boyle. Bianca! Ah! I've been going at him for six hours. He won't say a word. The guy's a brick wall. Not to worry, Sarge. I'll take it from here. Hope you boys brought popcorn, because I'm about to put on a show. Well, well, well. I hear you don't like answering questions, Marcos. That's fine by me, because I'm not asking. Oh, handle fell off. Let me scrap that. <clears throat> nope. So. Looks like we're locked in. That's bad news for you, because you're trapped in here with a psycho. <laughs> Has anyone tried it from the outside? Lock's broken. Got to call facilities. Copy that, no rush. As I said, I got all the time in the world. It's a little warm in here, right? Do you feel any air coming out of that vent? I got nothing. We got an ETA on facilities? At least 45 minutes. And they've checked all this paint for lead, right? And the room for asbestos? I feel like I'm sucking on a tailpipe in here. Marcos! Everybody get away from the mirror! I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Hey, calm down, man. I'll confess. Just stop freaking out. What? I did it. I robbed him. Boom! And that's how it's done. I was faking the whole thing to break him. I could have stayed in here forever. Good, because facility's going to be a couple hours. We're going to die in here! OK, hold me. Nothing but mouth. Whoa, impressive. Are you kidding me? That's a nothing. Diaz has been chucking D-holes into my mouthpiece since we were back at the academy. Check this out. What the? It's finally happening! Good morning, Cousin Tommy. I love you. Good morning, Cousin Mel. I love you. Good morning, Cousin Sam. I love you. Good morning, Cousin Tommy. I love you. Good morning, Cousin Becca. I love you. Good morning, Cousin Sam. I love you. Good morning, Pappy Boyle. I love you. Good morning, Becca. I love you. Ooh, extra long hug. What got into you this morning, Pappy? 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 So I got assigned to this one rookie, and on his training day, I made him smoke angel dust at gunpoint. King Kong ain't got nothing on me. 
Isn't that the plot and tagline? The of... movie Training Day? Yes. Great observation, Tank. It's because it's based on my life. Lunch is over. Bust your trays. Now, Peralta. I haven't finished my lemon cookie bowl. And you're not going to get to either. Give it to me. Oh, you want the cookie? There's your cookie. You're going in the hole. Oh, I'm going in the hole. Yeah. Yeah, bring it on. Jay! 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 Remember Jay! you saw Jay! 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 You can lock me up, but one day I'll get out of here and I'll come for you. I'll come for all of you. Hey, Warden, what's up? Next time, don't wait too long to spit the cookie. I've been waiting in here for four minutes, and it's gross. Oh, man, it really is. OK, snitch time. What's up with Romero? All right, he's got a delivery coming in on Wednesday night. One of the cafeteria workers is smuggling something in with the produce. Ah, <laughs> great. See you Thursday. Wait, what? You're just going to leave me in here in solitary? You spit in a guard's face. That's five days in the hole. Yeah, but, I mean, you made me do that. Well, we don't want anybody getting suspicious, huh? Have fun. Try not to go crazy. OK. No big deal. Five days is nothing. I'm not afraid to be alone with my thoughts. My thoughts are awesome. Die Hard Six on a cruise ship, pizza bagel restaurant, my father never loved me, and I'm going to die alone. Oh, boy, that happened fast. Guard! Guard! Thank you for joining me for what promises to be the diggity dopest tree lighting in the history of the Nine Nine. I don't understand. Where's the tree? It was inside us all along. Brilliant, Jake. No, Charles, not everything was inside of us all along. The tree is right here. Cool. Can we go now? Obviously not. Behold, the greatest inflatable tree that Murica has to offer. And now, in the immortal words of Saint Nick, turn on the compressor. You hear that? It's the sound of Christmas. It's deafening. It's getting really big. What size tree did you get? It's a jumbo. It says it's 10 meters tall. That's roughly 32.81 feet. Someone unplug it. Unplug it now. We can't. It swallowed its own plug. Everybody run! <laughs> OK. The tree has been contained. Wait, we left a man behind. <laughs> well, Terry's trapped in the break room forever. Only thing we can do now is move on with our lives. It's what Terry would have wanted. <laughs> God bless us, everyone. Yeah! I don't miss Porzingis. I'm glad the Knicks got rid of him. That's crazy. You never trade a seven-footer with three-point range. Why is the precinct full of bunnies? This is still going on? What is? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Halloween Heist! Yeah! Terry loves waking up. Terry. Good morning, honey. Tell no. me. Oh, what the hell are you doing? It's Holt Navy's last day, so we're having a final heist. It's heist day. Couldn't you have just sent an email? Nope, this was the only way. I have to go alert the others. See you soon. It's heist day, Rosa. Ah! Oh, sorry about your milk. Gotta go. Nico, it's time for school. It's heist day, Charles. Where's Nicola? She's crying in the closet. Gotta go. Babe, what are you doing? I was hiding so I could surprise you. But if you're here, then who's in our shower? It's me, Captain Holt. It's heist day, Jay. Oh! Hey, sorry I'm late. The coffee guy was... Assaulting your head? What is going on up there? Is it bad? Before I answer that question, do you currently have a knife on you? Yeah, several. Then I love it. It really is hair. It's bad, Rosa. You look like Edna from The Incredibles. I'm sorry, don't stab me. <sighs> My girlfriend Jocelyn's been practicing a bunch of different hairstyles on me. She's in cosmetology school. Is she... Passing? Honestly, I don't know. Well, let's get into this murder. I'm hoping it's a dope one. Mamma mia, that's a bloody pizza pie. <sighs> no, it's OK. I can say that. I'm half Italian. It's not the problem I had with it. Detectives, the vacuum was running when we got here. Smeared blood across the entire apartment. Is this dope enough for you? I mean, it's a bloody robot, Rosa. It's clearly a good start. But it's going to take more than that to be certified as dope. Who's the Vic? Name is Andrew Adams. Kind of a boring name, not dope. He's an investigative reporter. Dope? What was he investigating? Chicken farming. A sharp turn away from dopeness. But who found the body? His boss called the cops when he didn't show up to work, so he was found by Officer Darrell. Officer Darrell? You are seriously undoping this. You got anything else for me? Jen. The apartment was locked from the inside. Mysterious. Dope. And the alarm system was still armed. Dope, 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 dope. So hard to solve. Any surveillance cameras? Oh, yeah. Tons of them. We checked them. It's too easy. But no one was seen going in or out. So whoever did this 
was a ghost. Yes, a ghost. Oh, I officially declare this case. Do. Oh my God. Rose is wearing pink. Rose is wearing pink. Are we sure it's not a white shirt that's just been bloodied in a motorcycle crash? Well, maybe it wasn't her. Does she have a twin sister? If Rosa had a twin, she would have eaten her in the womb. Wait, hold it, stop. How come none of you teased her about it? It's Rosa, she's scary. You guys are unbelievable. I once wore a tie with a splash of purple. You guys called me Mr. Graves for two years. <laughs> oh, Mr. Graves, I forgot about Mr. Graves. If I wore a pink shirt, you'd tear me to shreds. Well, yeah, but you'd look like a My Little Pony with a gun. <laughs> Let me guess, your theater club is putting on grease and you're playing a pink lady. Nice. <laughs> What are you guys laughing at? If Boyle was wearing a pink shirt. I get it. That's hilarious. What's happening? Rose is the one wearing pink. And? It's gorgeous. Wish I could pull that off. Dream on, strawberry shortcake. Yeah, nice try, Mr. Grapes. <laughs> Mr. Grapes! <laughs> Mr. Grapes! Pigeon's still here? Yeah, no matter what we do, you just won't leave. The problem is you're thinking like detectives. No, I'm definitely not. When you should be thinking like a bird. This is Operation Saving Private Pigeon. On my mark, I will turn on this fan, gently startling our bird due east into the file box canyon, where he will encounter Charles holding two pot lids. He'll bang them together, forcing Private Pigeon into the ceiling there and out of the ceiling there, where he will be greeted by Scary Rosa holding a scary picture of an owl. Now he's playing our game. He'll veer left into an upside down garbage can propped up by a hockey stick and connected to a string that Gina is holding. She pulls it, he's trapped, and Terry releases him outside. Terry hates birds. Okay, little friend, let's get you home to mama. No! Oh God, it flew right into the fan! It's everywhere! There's pigeon everywhere!